In the previous video, we have created the car prefab that allows us to spawn a car with a randomly selected uh, prefab of a car. Now in this video, I would like to first create some logic for the car to use the rigid body to move the car around using uh, movement forward and rotating and car AI that will allow us to make our car face the point of interest, so make it run forward and turn around uh, until it faces the point of interest and drive toward it and implement an arrive behavior where if car uh, is close to the point of interest it accesses another point from the list uh, that is called path and if there are no more points it should simply stop. So let's stop the game and let's implement uh, two more scripts for our car. So I'm going to go to the scripts folder in the project section to the AI. I'm going to right click create a new c -sharp script and I'm going to call it car controller. Let's open this script up in Visual Studio. Okay. Now this car controller script will be using the rigid body that we have added to our car to make it move forward and to make turns. What I want to do is make sure that the car controller script always has a rigid body attached to the game object. So above the car controller, we are going to add square brackets to add an attribute to it. And we are going to type require component. And this allows us to type a type of a component so uh, in the brackets let's type type of and we are going to type in another brackets rigid body and this will make sure that if we add car controller to a game object it will automatically add a rigid body component to it if there is no rigid body attached because now we are going to delete update and start method and instead we are going to create a rigid body reference called rb great now we are going to create a wake function and in the awake, we are going to simply call rb equals get component of type rigid body. And this is how we are going to access the rigid body to use it to move our car. We will need to have more parameters so we can make sure that the car isn't going too fast or too slow and can turn around. So we will need to have a private load power. And we are going to set it to be 5. We are going to have private load torque and we are going to set it to be 0.5 so the power will be speed of our car and torque will be uh, how agile is our car next we are going to also have private load max speed let's set it to be 5 and we are going to use uh, add force on the rigid body to make our car go faster because of this we will want to cap our speed to the max speed now let's expose those uh, parameters or those fields in the inspector by adding a serialized field uh, attribute above those and in square brackets. So let's copy the serialized field by control C and paste it above the torque and max speed. We will be able to set those uh, parameters through the inspector. Now one last thing that we will need to have is a private vector2 and let's call it a movement vector. So this will be the uh, value that we will set through our AI uh, controller or our AI script to make our car move in the concrete direction. So what we will have here is another method that will be public. So let's type public void and let's call it move. And we are going to pass to our move vector2 and let's call it movement input. And in this method, we are going to simply set our this dot movement vector equals our movement input. So we are going to set the uh, we are going to use the move method from our AI script, and this will set the uh, movement uh, vector. So now to use it, we are going to simply create fixed update, and we are going to call on our rigid body uh, a method so that it will perform some movement. Uh, if we want to move in the fixed update we are going to type if our rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude and this will basically give us the speed with which our uh, car is traveling and if this is less or equal to max speed actually i think we will want to set it to be less than max speed only then we are going to call rigid body dot add force and add force method will allow us to move our car in the specific direction. Since this is a simple setup for the movement, we are going to simply pass here our movement vector. 
and we want to pass y value now we are going to multiply it since uh, the add force wants a vector 3 not a float value we want to multiply it by transform dot forward so we will want to only move in the forward direction of our car and then we want to multiply it by the power so now we are going to be able to use the value that we provide through the inspector to make our car move faster or slower and that's it for the setup to make our car move forward now to make sure that we can turn what we will do is we are going to call rigid body so rb dot add torque and this will add a uh, torque to our rigid body so it will perform turns and we are going to only add this value if our movement vector dot x value so left and right input is greater than zero so basically if we pass movement vector as vector to zeros uh, we are not going to perform any movement so this will allow us to stop the car without modifying this code and if we pass the movement vector dot x value as greater than zero then we are going to start turning and what we want to do is multiply it by vector 3 dot up value since we only want to perform the turn on the y-axis as you might recall we have locked uh, the rigid body uh, possibility to, uh, to rotate our car on x and z value so we only want to perform the rotation on y-axis and we want to multiply it by the torque so we want to set how fast our car is turning and and since car only rotate if they are moving so the car cannot really turn around in place it, uh, we are going to multiply this by movement vector dot y value as well so if we are not moving we cannot really turn uh, so this is, will prevent this turning in place okay so this is it for our setup let's save it and before we go back to unity let's slide up and let's expose this movement vector by adding serialized field so we can set it up through the inspector let's save it let's go back to unity great you might see some warnings doors are warnings that the value for the uh, script or the component is not defined by default but we are using those f uh, values to set them through the inspector but this is basically why you're getting those warnings don't worry about them clear them and what we can do is select our car or actually we can go to prefabs and select the car in the prefabs folder and let's add to this component a car controller uh, let's add to this game object a car controller component great so now let's press play let's select our car from the hierarchy and if we set y value to 1 we can see that nothing happens let's increase the power to something like 10 and you should see that our car is starting to drive and if we drag it backwards it will keep on driving because we set y value to 1 so let's modify those uh, settings so that we can have some kind of reasonable setup so let's stop the game and what i would like to set in the car uh, the, for the default values the power let's set it to 10 the torque let's set it to 0 0.01 and let's set the max speed to 3 okay great so this is it for our car controller so again to keep those videos short i will create the car ai in the next video see you there